Hi, my name is Alessandro Cangelosi and that's another new uh, tip tutorial coming from cgcookie.com for, uh, for model cookie. Um, this time we'll start to uh, check some features for the uh, shader tree inside model. Uh, the shader tree is the uh, main, uh, the main interface to create uh, shaders and materials and it's useful uh, also to, to work on lights and rendering settings and whatever else. Uh, we'll try to, to split uh, all the feature of the um, uh, shader tree in, in uh, a various uh, in a, a series of tip tutorial and this time we'll try uh, we'll start to work on the tip on the shader tree to understand how it works and how we can use to create uh, shaders and materials inside model. So let's go inside the model code uh, layout and we'll start creating a, a very simple mesh uh, just to, to work on it for the shading. So let's create uh, a sphere. Let's set uh, the action center to pivot. And then we start to create a spherical uh, mesh like this one. Let's exit from the, the sphere creation and I press the A key uh, to zoom uh, uh, the sheen to the sphere I just created. So that's our uh, uh, model and we can change the name of the layer from mesh to sphere and then we can uh, assign, uh, before we, uh, we can go inside the shader tree uh, material editor to create a shader or a material, uh, we have to assign a material to the, to the model. Uh, by default, uh, every single model that's, uh, will, uh, that will be created inside model has a default material. So we have to go inside the texture menu and we have to uh, select assign material group or we can use the M key uh, shortcut and here we have uh, a very basic uh, parameters some very basic parameters for the material and we can change uh, the name as uh, maybe hood so now we have a material uh, called food that will be useful to create uh, a wood material and you can see that there we can find the properties of the material but to work on the material we can go inside uh, the material editor and to you to open the material editor we have to go inside texture and we have to select open material editor so now we are inside uh, the right uh, environment and we have to check the actual environment that is physically based and I prefer to use a four color gradient so let's go just a little there to change the camera position like this one okay so let's go back inside the material editor and we have our preview there and uh, you can find the uh, base list of uh, stuffs inside the shader tree and we find the renderer with all its parameters and the environment and we can change the environment or maybe access to the directional light or the camera in the render we have uh, the shaders and we have the base shader that is linked to the base material and it will be the default material assigned to every single mesh we will try to create inside model and we have our material the wood material and the base la the basic layer is the wood material and you can find uh, some um, properties like to enable or disable the material to invert or not the material 
and you can change the blend mode when you are using more layers over the same uh, uh, mesh to create uh, some complex uh, uh, shaders and material and we'll make some tutorial about it in the future then we have the opacity that will be the uh, basic opacity of the shader so if I change uh, the opacity now you cannot see the effects because we we see just the color and then we have some uh, option for the group but before I'd like to to check with you how to work on the material so I can go inside the sub layer the material layer and we have all the properties uh, for the rendering of this material and you can change the diffuse color and it's not so complex because you can click over it and you can select a color maybe like this one okay and you can see uh, in real time the uh, change the changes you are uh, you're making uh, over the material you can change the diffuse lever uh, for the diffuse color of this uh, surface and we have a lot of uh, uh, parameters and step by step in this uh, uh, tutorial we'll work on it uh, let's start to check uh, the diffuse color and the specularity and how to use um, uh, an image map to create a material over the diffuse uh, channel uh, to change the specularity we have the specular amount and you can see that we are changing the power of the specularity let's try like this and we have the darkness that works as a glossiness uh, parameter so we can change how the specularity will be affected over the surface and those are the basic uh, uh, parameters to, to control the specularity then we have the specular color and it's very easy because we can change the color of the specular area let's try like this and then we have the possibility uh, to add uh, some textures to add the texture uh, for example to the diffuse channel you have to uh, you have to use the add layer uh, button then you can uh, for example choose uh, image map and then we have to uh, choose what we can do and we would like to load an image and we can choose for example uh, from the uh, free staffs uh, installed by the mode installation so we can go for example inside certain wood and let's see like this or maybe using uh, the bigger uh, icons let's choose certain wood and we have it and you can see that uh, in real time we have the application uh, of the texture in the diffuse channel like this and um, we have all the uh, properties inside uh, you can see that now we have the image set in wood as diffuse color and under the affect row and we can use or not use uh, anti-alias to be more precise and we have the opacity again and you can see that now it works because we have uh, another layer so let's use 100 then we have uh, some interesting uh, uh, stuffs about the filtering let's use the bicubic to be more precise and we have the possibility to invert the red to green or the blue and to change the gamma and if the uh, image map we are using as an alpha channel we can say to use it to make some transparencies or so, some decal effects and in the future we'll work on uh, this complex uh, feature about the image mapping or the diffuse layer then we can uh, 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 try to see uh, how we can change uh, the the UV map over the the mesh so uh, 
we go inside the texture locator and we have the position, rotation and sides of the map and then we have the projection map and we, uh, we are finding the front projection and we can change to spherical because we are using a sphere for our test and we can rotate the map if we'd like to rotate like this and everything will be done in real time and then we can go inside the other option and we can find uh, the repeat for the horizontal or vertical axis let's try for example 3 and 3 and you see that I am using a 3 time over the U and V axis of the sphere this map so and now just to see uh, how we can add another properties to the shader and uh, without having the, the need to do to go more in deep uh, inside all the stuffs we can find on uh, all the layers we can go again back to the other layer and we say image map okay let's choose again this one and we say bump uh, using the right mouse button okay and you see that uh, we are using uh, also the bump map over the the model we have to go inside uh, the preaction and we have to use again the spherical and let's choose uh, Let's use 90 for the rotation on the x-axis for the diffuse and same okay for the uh, bump effects let's go inside there and let's use again 3 and 3 for the repeat uh, value so uh, now we can go inside the material and we have uh, more option and we can find the bump uh, let's try to use 500 or maybe more 1000 for the bump and you see that we have the bump in real time there over the the rendering preview and that's a very simple way to to create uh, more complex material uh, just uh, another tip uh, we can for example add a new layer and uh, we can use again maybe uh, an image map okay and let's load another image and let's go for example for uh, let's see something okay like Oh, metal uh, it's not uh, it's not realistic but it's just to see how we can use the layering the layering system and you see that we have uh, this texture uh, at 100 but we can use for example 15 or maybe 30 and we are mixing the texture you can see one texture over the other texture or we can use for example 100 and we can change the blend mode to multiply so we are changing the coloring of the wood texture and then we can go there uh, in the texture locator and let's see say uh, spherical let's rotate at a 90 degree over the x-axis and let's change to repeat maybe to 5 and 5 so we have a lot of uh, dots over the hood and we can go back in texture layer and say maybe 30 so we have or maybe more 45 so we have just uh, some color changes over the surface and you can see it there so we are uh, we can be able to create very complex material so uh, for this tip tutorial about the shader tree is everything uh, uh, we'll talk about shader tree uh, more and more on uh, 
a lot of tip tutorial on uh, next week's and I hope to see you again uh, uh, back on Modo Cookie uh, to check another new uh, tutorial or tip tutorial from CG Cookie. Thanks.